Good morning guys welcome back to another video and welcome to my new filming space i cannot believe i didn't do this earlier this is such a beautiful space now there is so much room for activities and i am just so excited to bring you guys some more styling content some more outfit of the day reels and shorts and yeah i'm just really excited for 2024 for that matter i hope you guys have been well i know it's such a busy time of the year i don't know if, is everyone still watching YouTube at this time of year? Because for us here in Australia, it's really hot. So everyone's outside. And in terms of um, being on social media and for me personally watching YouTube, it, I kind of, yeah, I don't really watch it as much because I'm not inside as much. But regardless of that, it's just a busy time of year for everyone. So I hope you're all taking care of yourselves. For us, we have been going to the beach every morning. Everything is starting to wind down with work. Everyone's in a really good mood. Pretty much every weekend, there's either a barbecue or a f um, family or friend get together. So yeah, we've just been having such a nice time. But throughout the week, I am trying to do a, you know run all of my errands and get a lot of stuff done. So that way I can keep up with content with you guys. So today's plan is I have to run a few errands. I've got to go to the post office. I also have to go to Kmart because I had some beautiful family photos printed. So I've got to go and pick some of those up today. I also plan to reorganize my whole handbag wardrobe because this freestanding wardrobe here has all of my handbags just shoved in there. I need to pull them all out, stuff them all with tissue paper, put them in their dust bags and just store them properly and give them the love that they deserve. And that's also in preparation for 2024 because I will be doing a little bit of a handbag audit where I'll be looking at which bags I want to sell so that way I can purchase some bags that are currently on my wish list. If you see throughout the video all of these bruises, I can't really hide them because it's too hot to wear a long sleeve shirt, but the needling, the dry needling, so she will put like 30 needles in my arm and every now and then she will hit a spot and she'll say, oh, that's going to bruise. So she said sometimes she'll hit like a capillary. I do not know anything about anatomy, but anyway, don't mind that. Try and ignore it. Don't worry. I haven't fallen over. I haven't injured myself. It is simply just bruising from the dry needling. Um, what else has been going on? Current favorite bag of the day. Let me just grab it. So I have been using this bag pretty much every single day since I received it. So it's probably been about two weeks now. And I worked out the reason why I wear it so much is because I don't have to change it from day to night. This looks great with denim shorts and a t-shirt throughout the day. And then at night, it looks really nice with a little dress. So I absolutely love it. It's the perfect size. It's just one large opening. It fits my sunglasses case in there. And I find when a bag fits a sunglasses case, I just use it so much more because it is an everyday essential for me. So yeah, I'm just really loving this. It's the Fox Bucket Bag from Dylan Kane. I will link it below. But I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on it because I had so many questions about this bag. And yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I haven't used the crossbody chain strap. I don't think I will. Um, yeah, I really just like wearing it in the crook of my arm or I'll just hold it like this down by my side and it's just very easy to use and very comfortable. It's not a shoulder bag. I mean, you probably could. If you lengthen the strap, you could wear it on your shoulder. I think it's just a little bit awkward because of the way that this strap is. So now I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an office tour and then we'll probably get into organizing my handbag cupboard because in the mornings I have the most energy and that is when I should tackle those kinds of tasks because yeah after like lunchtime there is no way I'm doing any kind of deep cleaning. So here we have my newly decorated filming room. I'm going to start from this side and we will work our way around. So here I have my freestanding wardrobe. This is what holds all of my handbags and then up here I have these 
Dylan Kane shopping bags. I think they look really nice. I did have some Kane baskets, but a part of me, I just didn't want to throw these bags out, to be honest, guys. I just really like the look of them with just like the gold Dylan Kane. And then inside of those, I keep all of my tissue paper. So every time I receive an online order, I store all of my tissue paper in here. And then that is what I use to stuff my handbags out to help them keep their shape. So we will, yeah, do that in a moment. I then have this window here, which I like to just keep closed. Otherwise, when I'm filming from this direction, the lighting can get a little weird. I don't plan on putting a curtain up here, but we'll see how we go. I then have this couch. This couch is like a really nice, it's like a dark kind of navy color. And yeah, like I said, we already had it, Ryan had it in his office and it does pull out to like a double bed size. I purchased this throw from TK Maxx. It's quite thick, really nice. It makes me feel hot just looking at it, but I feel like it really kind of lightens up the space. This cushion is actually from Kmart many years ago and I found it stored in our linen cupboard and I was just so happy I found it because it goes perfectly with this couch. And then this is another cushion. Yeah, like I said, we already had it and it was out on our lounge room. So I brought it in here and I just think that little setup looks really nice. I have this little coffee table from Kmart. It was like $15 and it's just perfect to sit my little coffee. And then here I have this railing. I like to use this when I'm taking photos of anything that I'm selling on Depop or just for capsule wardrobe videos. I also have this plant here. It was out in the living area and it's just doing really well in this space. If you have an indoor plant that is just dying, trim it right back. Well, that's what I did with this. I just trimmed it right back, gave it heaps of water, um, and I just use a spray bottle to water it and it is all coming back beautifully. So I absolutely love that in this corner here. Just add a little bit of greenery. Oh, nearly kicked over my coffee and then on this window here this is where i plan to have a curtain rod all the way from wall to wall ceiling to floor a beautiful big linen curtain so i purchased that from freedom sorry about the lighting it's weird because i'm pointing directly at the light but i wanted to have a curtain in this space because i don't like to film outside my windows because I don't want people to know where I live so I thought that a way to kind of allow the light to come through but also have privacy is by having a curtain there so I think that will look really nice and still allow the light to kind of filter through and then on this side hello here I am um, we have my desk this is the same setup as before with just this chair from Target the desk is from Officeworks and I also have on here just like my Dymo labeler for my orders, which I've also been using for Depop orders, and it's so great. Uh, I have my um, laptops, both my work one and my personal. And yeah, not much more to say about here. My planner, I haven't been using it yet. I just feel like it's the time of year where... I'm just putting it aside and I'm going to do a full planner update in the new year. Speaking of planners, I'll be using that one in 2024. Um, and then I've also purchased a little Louis Vuitton PM agenda. So as soon as that arrives, I will be unboxing it and I cannot wait to fill it. I'm thinking of filling that one just with like plain lined paper and it can be a spot where I put any video ideas or just any lists that I make throughout the day. So I'm really excited for that. Back to the room tour, I also have this beautiful mirror. Now, I actually purchased this from Facebook Marketplace. So a guy that I actually went to school with sells these on Marketplace as a bit of a side hustle. So I contacted him. He had it in the black matte black frame or he also had it in like a brassy gold frame. I went with matte black just because we have a lot of black and accents throughout the house. So I thought that it would go nicely in here. But if ever I wanted to move it around the house, it'll look really good. And I absolutely love it. It is huge. It's like 1.2 meters wide and like two meters tall. I'm just so happy with it. It's such a statement piece in here. And he actually gave me a discount on this. So yeah, I was so grateful and just so stoked with it. And then this is where I kind of just keep my tripod. So that way when I'm filming, this is kind of what you guys see. So that is my little home office update. Let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love it. I love hanging out in here with music on. In the morning, I've come in here, sat at my desk with my my morning coffee I like to respond to YouTube comments respond to any emails and Ryan has been coming in here sitting on the couch and kind of hanging out with me which has been really nice as well so absolutely love it now let's tackle this wardrobe <coughs> Remy's on Paw Patrol because they the neighbors over the back have a huge took pen 
and they are so noisy and every now and then they have like i don't know if there's like chook fights going on but it's super noisy and Remy just loses her mind. So I'm going to have to go and sort her out and I'll be right back. So I've taken all the handbags out of here and given each of the shelves a wipe down. There is another shelf at the bottom which holds all of my handbag cleaning products, um, some jewelry pieces, and then just other handbag accessories, which I'm not using like straps and stuff. So I'm not gonna show you that bottom shelf because it's a little bit of a mess if I'm honest. I've got all of my handbags in a big pile here. I'm just going to grab them at random, stuff them with tissue paper, put them in a dust bag, pop them back in here and I'm just going to do that with everyone. Longchamp totes I just fold them up and I don't put them in a dust bag and I kind of just stack them up like that and then if I had more space I probably would unfold them and put an organizer in there but I'm kind of limited on space at the moment I think I do want to sell some bags in the new year um, and then any bags that already have a dust bag like my Dylan Kane bags have them um, and I've got a little Gucci one as well I just leave them in their original dust bag I will be filming a 2023 wrap up so all the handbags that I bought sold and kept but I don't want to film that yet because I still have I've got one handbag on the way potentially another one that's going to be ordered soon so yeah I obviously don't want to film that video until I've purchased all the bags that I want to purchase for 2023 It is so hot, it's almost unbearable. I'm just sitting here sweating. This is like my sixth plum today, I reckon. I just keep having them because they're so nice and cool. I really need to get some more ice blocks. I think I do have some in the freezer, but they've been in there since like last summer probably. Um, but I didn't film anything at the post office or the shops because I watch so many beautiful vlogs and I always try and take inspiration from other people. But I don't live, we live in a beautiful place in terms of near the beach, but when we're like heading out to the shops or I'm going to the post office, our shops are like, they're kind of just like a building plot in the middle of nowhere. It's not like all beautiful old buildings around. So yeah, I don't really film anything, but then it sucks for you guys because then every time you watch my vlogs, it's literally like stuck in this room. So I always try to create a bit of diversity. But yeah, it's just like I was walking around. I was prepared to vlog while I was out, but I'm like, there's literally nothing nice around here. So anyway, I'm back and I wanted to show you what I picked up. So at the post office, they actually had the Salvation Army um, rolls of wrapping paper. And I thought it was so beautiful. It's got kookaburras all over it with eucalyptus or yeah, I think it's eucalyptus or a gum nut tree. I'm not sure. Anyway, kookaburra is all over it. I thought it was really nice. You've got the Banksia flowers, so very Australian-inspired wrapping, and it was only $5, and I've been on the hunt for some nice Christmas wrapping, so I picked that up. I then have a um, Depop order. So literally, the shorts that I'm wearing today, the denim black ones, hang on. These denim shorts, I also had them in like a beautiful creamy color, but the zip broke, and I found these on Depop in the denim, um for twenty dollars so i picked those up i love them i really like this color it's like not a dark denim but not a light denim and then because it's ryan's birthday on wednesday i picked up this little mug um to give to ryan from remy and i it was so easy to do and it's basically just a personalized mug it says world's best dad and it's got this beautiful photo of ryan and remy on there when she was like I don't know, I just love this photo. I think I had it as my 
um, wallpaper on my phone for the longest time. I just think it's so beautiful of both of them. So yeah, that's two Ryan from Remy. I think I might fill it up with some like little scratchies or some chocolate as well. So I thought that was really cute. That's what I had to order and I was able to pick up. Um, in terms of the photos that I got the other day. So um, these will be going in these frames. Hang on. So I've got three of these frames. They were only $12 each from Kmart and I really liked how big the white part was. I believe they're called like a gallery frame. Um, and I think they just look really expensive. Got three of those to go above the bed. I need to get some hooks though because I tried um, Coles and they only had command hooks, like sticky ones. I want ones that can like actually drill into the wall and we can, that way they're not gonna fall down while we're sleeping and knock us out. Um, and these are the beautiful photos that we have to choose from. So we've only got to choose three, but just here's some examples. There's a beautiful little photo of Remy, which I feel like that's such a dog mum thing to do. You have all these nice photos and memories and then you take one photo the day before you go to print them of your dog and you're like, yep, yeah, that's one has made the cut. Um, I have one here of us on bikes when we were in Amsterdam. I thought that one was nice. I got them all in black and white because all the photos were all really different colors, different lighting, different everything. So just getting them all in black and white kind of kept them all succinct. We've got this one here from one of our friend's weddings. Um, I don't know, just a nice kind of photo of us recently. What else have I got? One of us in Venice, in Italy. So yeah, there's a few there to choose from six in fact and I just want to pick the top three and then we can always change them out as well and that's my little haul I'm really stoked about these shorts they feel like they've never been worn and like I said they also had a light like a really light denim color as well so I don't know I could pick those up as well I'm just still on the hunt from a, for a cream pair because you can't like repair zips well I can't anyway so I've really been on the hunt for Depop because these they don't sell these I don't think on Zara anymore they're just such a good denim short and I feel like when you find a pair that you like just buy them in every color and almost stock up especially when they're discontinued so now that that task is done the reason I didn't take Remy with me to the post office and take her for a walk is because there was the biggest dark cloud that came over and a fair bit of thunder and I thought oh my gosh it's going to start bucketing down but now it's almost cleared I don't know the weather's really weird during summer it gets so hot and then obviously you get hit with the storms so if it clears up a little bit maybe this afternoon Ryan and I will take Remy down to the beach um so we'll do that and then I think we might even just hang out later I do want to chat all about 2024 what I kind of have planned what I have on for the year because it's going to be quite a big year, a very exciting year. Um, but yeah, we can kind of chat all about that. So for now, I'm going to jump on the computer, get my work done, and then we can start to wind down for the day. guys it's actually the next day I apologize I didn't vlog much yesterday evening I just felt like after getting back from the beach having our showers starting to cook, cook dinner together I didn't want to pull out the camera that's nice quality family time and it's nice to just go social media free um, so yeah I thought I could jump back on this morning Ryan's just gone to work and I still don't start work for about another half an hour so I thought I could just chat to you about what 2024 looks like for me what my intentions are what I have coming up kind of just summarizing the year that was so 2023 for me was a huge year there were a lot of milestones for me a lot of learnings and kind of just finding my feet I still feel like I'm finding my feet every single day I still feel like I'm learning a lot about um, video editing and also how to take nice videos because that is always in the back of my mind. I like creating content and talking about handbags um, just as much as I like editing and creating nice 
videos for people to watch. So I like both those parts just as much as each other. So I feel like there's so much for me to learn. Um, and in saying that, I am very critical on myself. And sometimes I will spend so long on creating a reel, creating a video, and I will look back at it and I'll just think, I might delete that later because it's just not where I want to be at. Anyway, the positive in that is that I'm always, there's always something to do. So in terms of my fashion, I'm still sticking with the capsule wardrobe. I'm still buying as much as I can on Depop. If I've learned anything, I know I've said this many times before, I always say it to myself, but quality over quantity. And even the other day, a beautiful top popped up on Depop. It was $80. And usually I'm always trying to find like a really good bargain, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to buy it for $80 because it's about $300 brand new. And I know that I will get a lot of wear out of that item because it's really good quality, really well made, um, and just a really nice silhouette. So I need to take that through with me into next year because in reality, when I work from home, I live in active wear. And then when I head out for lunch or head out for dinner, I don't need a lot of clothes. So the ones that I do have, I wanna make sure they're really nice quality and from really beautiful brands. As for handbags, I really do like having a combination of both vintage handbags and contemporary. I've worked out for me, the contemporary handbags that I own and actually use, they're all very functional and they all go um, with a lot of my wardrobe. So Longchamp pieces, Dylan Kane pieces, a lot of them are black handbags in fact, but I'm not someone who's going to shy away from contemporary bags. They just need to be really special if I'm going to add them to my collection. As for vintage bags, I do have a little more fun with vintage bags. I definitely go for styles that I find interesting, I find are really well made, and they're almost like a piece of history or a piece of art, and I really liked collecting them and having them in my collection. I feel like as my lifestyle changes, my handbag collection starts to change. So I'm really liking just going with the times, going with where I'm at at that point in my life, and I hope you guys like it as well. I do have a couple more, I think I mentioned earlier in this video a couple more vintage purchases on the way I cannot wait to show you they're so beautiful um, so that's where I'm at with bags in terms of content I've got here content stop being a try hard um, basically don't try too hard to be really aesthetic and really I always look at other influencers and just think oh my god um, just the way they dress is so cool everything the whole content the music everything is amazing and sometimes I think so hard about it that I end up not creating any content at all so I went way back in my Instagram feed when I first started you know blogging about this kind of stuff and I had quite long captions I was not only showing a bag with my outfit but I was talking about the bag why I like to wear it I want to get into that a little more um, reels as well only creating reels when I feel like that type of content suits a reel if you know what I mean so for example this year I tried to just focus on reels because I felt like that's where the algorithm's going that's what everyone else is doing that's what I need to do to keep up with the times when in actual fact some um, forms of content are actually better as like static posts and I know with a lot of um, my audience I think the majority of my audi audience are between 25 to 45 I don't need to keep up with the young ones to keep up with the TikTok trends um, because that's just not where I'm at and I'm sure it's not where my audience is at either so it does not matter to me and I am just going to create the content that one I feel like creating and two that I actually like to look at myself and then what's on next year I do still plan to get married I haven't actually planned my wedding yet but I don't I think I've mentioned this in other videos I don't plan to do like a proper big wedding venue style wedding I plan to just do um, a very low key um still have everyone that i want there but in terms of the actual venue i just want it to be a little more low key so that is still on the cards a lot of planning has to go into that but also i'm going to enjoy the process i don't want to make it a stressful process um, because at the end of the day it's about ryan and i getting married and that is all that matters as long as my loved ones are there and i think about the most special times in my life and ones that i look forward to like christmases like easter where all the family just gets together why not just do that kind of vibe for a wedding so that will keep me very busy next year and then of course after the wedding we want to go on a honeymoon so whether we go on an overseas trip whether we um, do a small trip we're not sure yet but that all still needs to be organized so like I said we're just going to enjoy that process um, and we're as soon as we feel stressed we're just going to pull back we're in no rush so just as 
you know if it has to be pushed back later than we thought then it does not matter um what else do i have on my sister will be having her baby she's due in april so i'm only taking off two weeks over this christmas because i wanted to save a lot of my annual leave for all of these events wedding honeymoon and when my sister has her baby i want to take like a week off because i want to be there for her um through all of that and then what else do i have just home decorating we finally finished this house i know i've said it a couple of times before but i'm talking like we finally got a driveway we're currently getting a front fence like the whole house is pretty much wrapping up so now i can really get into the interior decorating which i'm really excited about i feel like i'm in my home um, decorating era at the moment um, which is why sometimes i do find it hard to talk about handbags and fashion because just i'm sure you guys are the same some days you're really into your handbags and into your style and you jump online and you start looking for more new capsule wardrobe pieces and then other days you're really into your home and you're looking for new bedding and new curtains so i'm trying to just really enjoy that but also i want to try and bring a little more that in of that into my content because that is where i'm at in my life and sometimes i felt pressure to always just be fashion handbags fashion handbags but in actual fact, because a majority of my audience are within that age bracket, 25 to 45, I'm sure you've all got a home. I'm sure you all don't mind seeing a little bit of home content here and there. So why not, you know, start incorporating it. And in terms of where YouTube and Instagram is going for me personally, I am starting to have a little more requests of, you know, branded collaborations. So I've always been very strict with that. I not at the very beginning because you get really excited you're like oh i you know get to receive that item for free and all i have to do is mention it and i had a lot of fun with that in like the first year of creating content now i'm like unless it's really good it's not worth it because it's a lot of work creating content and when you already work full time you don't want to replace the content that you already had in mind with stuff just because it's branded if you know what i mean so i'm only taking on collaborations that I feel I'm able to work into a video very seamlessly and feels very organic to me. I'm going to be completely honest here. I have started to earn a little bit more money over the last couple of months on YouTube, not heaps, but more than like $60 a month. So I'm able to put that money into more bags. So I'm finding that rather than me having to save up and spend my own money on vintage bags and items to share with you guys, um, I'm able to, I wait for that paycheck to come in and I make sure that I kind of reinvest it and buy handbags with it rather than kind of just flitter it away on stuff that isn't really useful to this channel. I really try to get that have an item on my wish list and purchase it straight away. So that in itself is really exciting and is a huge milestone. Who would have thought that I would be able to make videos about handbags that I love and those videos pay for the next handbag, which is where I wanted to get with my YouTube channel. So that's a bit of a summary. I could ramble on for ages. I would love to know what you guys are up to and what your intentions are for 2024. The 2024 related content is on its way. I plan to do a full um, planner reset and update um, and maybe another sit down chat like this so yeah if you haven't already subscribed or hit that little notification bell make sure you do i really love that my community here is growing i'm seeing a lot of returning viewers and i'm just thoroughly enjoying it so anyway guys i'm going to close this off i hope you all have a lovely day or night depending on where you are and what time you're watching this and i'll catch you all in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.